Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Revolution 3 Let's Play series. Well, I logged in today, got out of bed here, and discovered a bunch of zombies standing outside my bedroom door. I really have no idea how these zombies are got into my house. There's no... There's not a single square they could have spawned on. And we're injured, we've only got three health, so... So this isn't looking good, um, but I do have a plan. Um, I'm not going to open the door because they'll kill me, so I just break down a, a block here and I should be able to, uh, to, uh, you know, kill him pretty good through this hole in the wall and they can't get to me. Fantastic. It's working. He, he picked up my block of... <laughs> Come on, guys. Get over here and die. Alright, just one left. Just go ahead and uh, break this one. Here we go. Alright, well, that was um, unusual. It's a good thing this door was closed. I really don't know how they got in. Whatever. Okay, so we need to attempt to solve our um, our low health problem, and the way that we're the best way to do that would be to make some potions. But in order to do that, uh, we have to make a um. Come on, we need to make a brewing stand. And to do that, we need a blaze rod. And to get that, well, I don't think I have one here. I have these cinder pearls, which can be used to make blaze powder. But I don't think you can turn blaze powder back into blaze rods. This locator pedestal? I don't think you can. Let's find out. Um, what is that? Silicon. It compacts into glowstone, so you can't even do that. So, no. Where did you come from? I hit F7 and there's not a single square in this house that's not lit up. There's not a single yellow or red square. I mean X. There we go. That's working fine. So, basically, we need... What the heck? Where'd you come from? Okay, we need to figure this out. Because our house was supposed to be safe, but it's not. Set F7. See if there are any yellow X's up on this balcony. I don't think there are. No. I don't know where they're coming from. Unless the game... Unless Rev3 has just said, Okay, well, mobs can spawn wherever. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Ah. Uh, a little... Oh, they hit me through the wall! Get out of here, baby zombies. Fortunately, now I am. Whoa. Slowed. Because I have one, two and a half in health instead of three. That is annoying. Can we, like, eat something and get a little bit of health back?
Nah, eating this beef wellington takes- Oh, wow, we got a lot- Okay, well. Whoa. 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 Okay. That beef wellington, man. Awesome. Did it add the excess. See, I can't hit them through the walls, but they can hit me. I can hit the little one through the wall. It's very strange. Whatever. Uh, we still want to get our, some brewing going on, but uh, this was that insane. Anyway, um, first thing I wanted to do was make a balloon. I wanted to make a balloon so that we can fix our uh, little rope to the top there. Need some tough fabric, a torch. I should have what I need for that. I think I had a lot of industrial hemp rope left over for making the uh, string. Where to put it? I need to organize this place too. That's something I need to do later. Oh no, we don't actually have any more hemp string, which is weird. I thought we did. Oh well. I need to go up top and plant this stuff. I got my bucket. Go get some water. And uh got, we got our hoe. And we could do, do some real uh farmity farming. What the heck happened to my other um hemp stuff? I thought I had more of it. Did I put it in the in, uh the immersive engineering room? I did. Okay. Industrial hemp fiber. This is what I wanted. Um. Okay. It's it's a stick surrounded by this. There's one. Sticks. There's two. I need more. Can't get it right now. It's become a nighttime out there. Ah, oh, darn you. Longer range than expected. What the heck? I keep hitting I because I'm used to playing other games. I just let in one at a time. That's another. Uh, that's an advantage of having such a large entry uh, room. Uh. Means there's always room to backpedal. I hate it how they place cobblestone. Ugh. Ah. We got wood now, which is something we didn't have before. Let's see. Oh goodness! Just flipped my mouse over. Ah. Let's see if we can make some of these turrets. Tier one turret base. Wood and cobblestone. Wood and redstone. Okay. Let's grab some cobblestone. There's. Here we go. Um, now we gotta get the redstone. And I think that's in here. Indeed. Shouldn't need any more than that. Okay. Why haven't I not made a crafting bench for that room? Crafting table. Alright, need some wood. Wood and cobblestone. Wait. Oh yeah, I gotta make this first. That in the middle. Redstone around it. Sensor. Tier 1. Wood. Cobblestone. Turret base. Tier 1. 
Okay. I need, um... Shiva apparently already made a crank handle. I remember seeing it. Turret, basic turret base crank. Um, now what do we need to make it work? Open modular turrets. A tier 1 chamber? Well, let's just place this down and see what it looks like. We'll place it here in this room. <sighs> um, yeah, so I gotta put power into it, so that's what this crank handle is for. <laughs> it's even got a sound effect. We got our spring loaded turret. Oh, Y value. Ammo. Um. No, come on. Target. Multi. Drop base, drop turrets. Oh! I can click a button and it drops the uh, turret. That's cool. That's convenient. Now, what does this stuff shoot? It probably shoots, like, ammo, bullet. Throwable bullets. <laughs> Okay, so d I think I need a barrel and a chamber. And then bullets. I can make that. Holy cow, you get a lot. Barrel. Two I can make tier two barrels, too. I can oh, no, that's electrical steel. Never mind. Barrels, tiers. The bullets just need regular iron, thankfully. Wait. Do I really need electrical steel for bullets? That would suck. Ferromagnetic slugs. We'll see. Stupid zombies. I hate all your moans. Um, we need to make this. So we'll do that. Barrel tier one. Chamber. It's electrical steel. Redstone, wood, and cobblestone. So I'm not sure how we attach this. That's the ammo slot. Um, I'm not sure. It's not something that you place. Ah. And it's not under the configure menu either. Interesting. Uh, potato cannon turret. Ah, here we go. Disposable item turret. Any block slash item. Fantastic. This one fires potatoes. Yeah, I don't have potatoes. This gun turret fires bullets, so that's the one you need if you want to fire bullets. I can't do that, so I just need to fire a relativistic turret. Grenade launchers, incendiaries, that wouldn't be smart to put inside a house. So we want this, so... Cobblestone, redstone, and the barrels. Okay, sweet. We're learning how to make turrets. Okay, disposable item turret. Great. We now have a disposable item turret. Now I need to put ammo in it. 
which could be any old crap, which is great, because I have a lot of crap. Heck, we'll put all this rotten flesh in there, and we'll fire rotten flesh at the enemies. And they're not going to deal a ton of damage. But is this actually going to start shooting? Yeah. A gun that runs on rotten flesh. Excellent. Very useful for this. No, oh, no. Didn't get back in time. Gonna step up and then back up immediately. You know, it is quite useful, even, even though it doesn't deal a ton of damage. I think, what, what did it say? Two and a half hearts? Or something like that. I keep hitting I. It's still quite useful. Ow! Where'd you come from? <sighs> Darn these zombies. Not safe in my own home. What did we get out of that treasure? Well, we got an ender pearl, which is nice. And some more gold coins. I have some potatoes. Yeah, let's put this junk away. Zombie brain. I don't need these spruce saplings either. All right. So what we need to do is clear this area out in front of the house and then put this turret outside. And we'll want, you know, probably another one. Okay, so we've cleared the area. So now drop the turret, drop the base. Grab the crank handle and move this outside the door. So, good place for it would be, um, well, right up here. Well, actually, we need it in a location we can easily crank it. We can we can crank it from there. Now, what I really need to do is put actual power into this thing. It takes 2 RF per shot, and it's got 500, so it can fire 250 times. Which is fine, because I'm not going to have probably that much ammo in it at one time. So, you know, that works out. Let's grab all this crappy rotten flesh. Because there's no point saving rotten flesh. And there are so many zombies that... You know, if we ever need rotten flesh, I mean, we'll have it in spades. So let's find all the rotten flesh we've got. Was there some in here? Yes, there was. Awesome. And stick it in the turret. Okay, that's a lot. And now we'll build another one. To really secure our front door. Fantastic. We've made we're making a lot of um, very nice headway this episode as far as not dying is concerned, I think. And through all that we didn't die. Turret base chamber No, I said barrel. Barrel, turret, to upgrade, um, I'll want to start a potato farm. Ah! Well, how come you didn't get shot at? I don't have my crank handle, so...
die, you jerk. Get out of my house. Okay. Why didn't he get shot at? Oh. Oh, I need to increase the negative Y, I believe. It's, it's higher up now. There we go. other one we can put here so that it can range on things that one can't awesome and with two of them our front door should be well guarded so we'll just crank this up bit more. Um, throw the gun on it. Again, I'm going to have to move this, uh, you know, rope. It was never meant to be permanent there anyway. Configure the negative Y. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We need to have this at least six in order for it to shoot there. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then I think we want to. So now this one will only shoot enemies that step up onto this level. And this one will also shoot enemies that step onto this level here. Great. So now we will take some of the ammo out of this one. Um, this is going to have a, a stack in 53. And. This one we'll put it in a stack. 32, 48, 56, 57, 60. So that's basically as even as I can get it. Okay, we've got turrets. I gotta remember to take this crank handle off and keep it with me so that I can charges up whatever so yeah that's good we've got turrets outside our house now uh, we're hopefully we won't die immediately coming out of our, 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 our home anymore so I hope you've enjoyed this episode stay tuned for future episodes I'm gonna clean up this cobblestone in the meantime I'm Sentinel H and I'm signing out